Hey there guys, I'm back again today for another video. This one is going to be a deck review of the uh, B. Ednes Smithback number 2s. Now, I haven't done a deck review in a while, but I thought these cards were worthy of one, so um, here it is. Now, first of all, the box. This box is standard on the front, says playing cards Ednes on the bottom, but otherwise it's just a standard B box. Uh, these are cambric finish. Underneath this black steel here it says poker and cambric. The bottom uh, says copyright 2011 USPCC, etc., as it does on a standard box. And then it says card back designed by GWR Hollingworth for the Conjuring Arts Research Centre, right here. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see that as my camera doesn't focus too well, um, or at all really, but that's what it says on the bottom. This side, MD Smith back number two, Club Special. Uh, these are the blue ones, by the way, as I got these from Dan and Dave, and they only did the blue cambric finish, I believe. Then on this side, it says Made in the USA, right there. And then the back, um, let me just close it. The back has this nice blue, dark blue board around the edges, which is very nice with little swirls and um, rounded corners here. Then it has a little cutout which isn't a cutout, but it's a little cut out of the back design, and then says Smith back extra selected for club special on the back. And I'll get onto this back design uh, when we get to the actual cards themselves. Just a standard black seal, and on the inside of the flap, it says all the standard things, um, the logos, the Ace of Spades design, etc., are trademarks of the USPCC. And that's pretty much it for the box. It is a pretty nice box. Um, almost exactly identical to standard B box, though it is still very, very nice. Now, onto the cards themselves. Uh, these are very, very nice cards. They do need to be broken in, as when I first got them, after about five or six minutes of just going, shuffling them, giving them a few cuts, um, they did begin to clump on the fans, and I was wondering if I'd already uh, ruined them but I did have to just break them in, as I think it's the cambric finish which causes uh, the effect on those cards. And onto the cards themselves, they come with an Ask Alexander advertisement card, which is for the Conjuring Arts uh, Research Centre once again. Just the little logo and the URL at the bottom, www.askalexander.org, and then Ask Alexander down both sides just a standard back on this as well and then we have the uh, expert at the card table card now this is referring to the expert at the card table book I have the pocket edition here um, now this is a book uh, as you can see on the inside it says artifice ruse and subterfuge at the card table um, now this was by Erdnace and it has lots of different lots of different uh, positions and different slights like second dealing, bottom dealing, etc. And this is just a quick information card about it and I'll just quickly read through this. So it says, The Expert at the Card Table by S.W. Erdnes, published in 1902, is probably the most important book on sleight of hand with cards ever written. Figure 101 shows that its author, who used the pseudonym S.W. Erdnes, used B playing cards. This commemorative deck of B cards is based on the Wormback design which was popular in 1902. The backs bear some of the iconic illustrations from The Expert by M.D. Smith, and the faces are styled on designs from the period. And at the bottom in very small writing it says, Copyright Conjuring Arts Research Centre 2011. So that's just uh, a quick information card. Then on to the two jokers. These two jokers are very nice. Now, they're not in colour, as you can tell, though uh, they are very nicely textured. Now, these are um, presumably of Erdnace sitting at a card table by himself. One of them, um, now these seem identical, but one of them has him with a deck of cards and two black aces on the table in front of him, whereas this one has him with what looks like the four of clubs and the... Ten of Spades, I think, right there in front of him. So, not completely identical. Though they have the uh, stars from B deck in 
each corner and it says the expert at the card table at the base right there. Very nice texture as I said, um, just him, the table and his chair, very nicely coloured, uh, though in black and white. Now, uh, the Ace of Spades, standard B Ace of Spades, nothing different about that to any other B deck. Uh, just completely standard Ace of Spades. Now, court cards, a couple of the court cards are reminiscent of that from the Split Spades, with the King of Spades being David Blaine's face and the King of Clubs, I believe, being either Dan or Dave Buck. I think it's Dan. So, um, very much like the Split Spades deck, designed by exactly the same person. And now, the back design of the cards. Um, this is a rather odd back design, as, uh, as it's boarded, but then it's also borderless, if you get what I mean. As there are no actual border lines, However, um, the cards still are able to hide face up or face down cards uh, in the centre. Now, these are pretty interesting as, at first glance, they just look like black or blue lines on the back of a card. Though when you look closely, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them, but they are actually uh, hands in different positions, which are different figures from the expert at the card table. And I thought that was pretty interesting and a very nice innovative design on here. So, very, very nice back design. I do like these. And the pips are slightly more rounded than normal and actually quite a lot smaller than the standard pips, which gives them a very nice effect if you're doing uh, face-up fans. So you can see more of the pips as you fan them out. So these do handle very, very nicely. Very nice for all types of shuffles whether they be table shuffles, or pharaoh shuffles, or standard riffle shuffles, any type of shuffle they are very, very nice for. So, overall, a very, very good deck of cards. I'd give it uh, maybe an 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. So, um, as I said, deck reviews may be not everyone to everyone's liking, though uh, should have a, another card trick coming soon. But I hope you enjoyed this deck review nonetheless, and uh, that's it from me for now, once I've done this pharaoh, and I shall see you all again next time.